The early 20th century and the world is undergoing the second industrial revolution. Mankind watches as new innovations spring into life. The internal combustion engine, the light bulb, radio, the recorder, alternating currents, movie theaters. Huge progress in metallurgy, petrochemistry, and energy production lead to the introduction of automobiles and airplanes. And with them comes one of the greatest breakthroughs in material technology, plastics. In 1907, while studying electric resistant material, American chemist Leo Hendrik Bakelin had created the first plastic species, Bakelite. They're tough creatures, durable, light, cheap to reproduce, malleable, electric and heat resistant. Next came polystyrene in 1930 and nylon in 1934. Soon after, they rose to dominance in the kingdom of materials, replacing the likes of silicone, glass, and metal in many consumer goods. Due to its versatility and relatively low cost, plastic largely made from petrochemicals was used in everything from milk bottles to aircraft. They even went to space. In fact, plastic's global incursion into our household is already complete. You start your morning checking your phone, made mainly from plastic. Then you go to the bathroom to brush your teeth, plastic again. Your clothes, your money, your chairs, and your workplace, they're full of plastic. You come home at the end of the day and look for some entertainment. Your personal computer, your gaming console, they're all plastic. All around us, it's nearly impossible to not find a piece of plastic within a radius of one meter from you. Plastic makes our life so convenient that we can hardly imagine a world without it. Life of plastic, friend or foe? The total weight of all the plastic in the world now is around 8.5 billion metric tons, with over 300 million tons added annually. To put this into perspective, if all the plastic was gathered to form a cylinder with a radius of one kilometer, this giant plastic mountain would be taller than Mount Everest. Sadly, 79% will accumulate in landfills or be spread across our natural environment. They become plastic waste, and only 10% of them get recycled to be used again. As plastic is slow to decompose, those forgotten plastics are here to stay. They do die of old age, just not in the same time frame as us. One plastic bottle will decompose after 450 to 1,000 years, way after you and I are gone. So these forgotten plastics, where do they end up? They're coming back for us. That's right, human. As we always have, we throw away things that we used to hold dear as soon as they no longer have any use to us. Because their lifespan is so long, most plastic just keeps existing from landfill to underground to sewers, rivers, lakes, and oceans. Every year, the sea receives more than 8 million tons of plastic. They've quietly found a way to take a shot back at us through a thing that we all love, food. Scary as it may sound, in anything that you eat right now, there's a high chance that it contains plastic. Plastic that drifts out to the sea with continuous exposure to the sun leads to UV degradation. These adrift plastics crack and disintegrate into smaller particles that are known as microplastics. And here we see a wild microplastic in its unnatural habitat. Because it's so small in size, plankton and filter-feeding organisms often consume them. And then it follows the food chain, crustacean, fish, bird, and finally at the end of it, human. The sweetest revenge, they plant their roots in us, and we're all plastic. The primary concern with human health in regards to microplastics is more directed towards the different toxic and carcinogenic chemicals used to make these plastics and what they carry. They're known to create birth defects in newborn babies through the mother's diet while being pregnant. Today, there are about 53000000000000. That's 53 trillion small pieces of plastic drifting in the sea, 500 times more than stars in our galaxy. This isn't just some fictional horror story. A 2018 study conducted on eight individuals from Europe and Japan found microplastics in human feces for the first time. Albeit this is a small size preliminary test, this is a wake-up call for us if we don't want to eat a nylon bag as our dinner in the near future. So the next time you throw that plastic bottle away, just remember that it can come right back at you very soon. Be responsible. 
Tame this plastic creature into your harmless, helpful friend, not a world-ending monster. They're innocent. It was us that made the mistakes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts on the video in the comment box below and suggest the topic you want the monsters to discover next.